So NBA 2K23 is coming to an end, and I just real quickly want to say thank you all so much for all of the support. In the background of this video, I'll have a previous video I did where I rebuilt 10 NBA teams in 10 minutes, just as something to watch in the background. But I want to talk about my goals for NBA 2K24 and also everything that's happened during 2K23. So about eight or nine months ago, I decided I was going to start up making 2K content. It was a decision that I had thought about for a little while. I had wanted to do it for a couple years, but I just didn't really know how to start and consistently keep it up. But eventually I was like, you know what, dude, just go ahead and post a video. I've done content before. If y'all didn't know, I'd make NBA videos. I also I have started a commentary channel called Danny Talks. I'll have my other stuff linked in the description if you care about it. I'm not trying to be an annoying person who sells promos, but maybe I am. Anyway, I did that type of content. So it's not like I have no experience making videos or anything, but I didn't really know how to start 2K. I mean, I've been watching YouTubers like Click Productions and King of the Fourth Quarter for years, and I've always thought the type of stuff that they did was really cool. So they were definitely big inspirations behind why I started this channel. But in watching them, I've always thought, man, I want to I want to do something like this. I'd love to make this type of content. So I got started. I dropped my first video. I think it was the one where I had 15 Russell Westbrooks on the same team. That that might have been my first video, but don't quote me on it. I dropped a video and I think it got some pretty good traction considering it was my first video. And overall, it was crazy how quickly this channel grew. Like I said, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. But going from 0 to 13k subs in like 8 or 9 months, man, I, I can't believe it. But in terms of NBA 2K24 and what I plan to do, I'm going to try to bring y'all daily videos. At least that's the plan as of now. Starting on Thursday, I should have my first 2K24 video Thursday night. Be ready for it, man. I'm very excited. I've already got the idea in my head. I'm ready to, I'm ready to record it. I'm ready for this game to drop. I'm always trying to bring y'all some new ideas and it's hard considering that in my NBA content there's a lot of creative YouTubers who are putting out some great stuff of course so I'm trying my best to reinvent the wheel you know come up with some new type of ideas to bring to the table for y'all in NBA 2K24 and I'm just really looking forward to making these videos man. I feel like in these in this 2K content, it kind of combines two things that I really love, which is basketball and gaming. I've always played 2K growing up. I think my first 2K that I really, really played was 2K17, and now we're going into NBA 2K24. I didn't really have like con a console to play 2K on until I was a little bit older. So yeah, 17 was my first 2K that I really, really played. I played some like 14 with family and stuff, but otherwise I didn't play a ton of 2K, right? So since I've been playing this game for years and years, being able to share the experience of, you know, doing a rebuild or doing a simulation with y'all is so rewarding to me. And the fact that people actually care to tap in, watch the videos, subscribe, it really does mean a ton to me. And I hope to continue to build up this community in NBA 2K24. Now, I don't want to put a specific number on it and say, I want to have this many subscribers by the end of 2K24. I want to leave it up to y'all. Let me know in the comment section, where do you think I will be at by the end of NBA 2K24? I, I just hope that we can grow this community and I can drop some videos that I'm really proud of in this upcoming year. I had a lot of videos that I dropped in this year's 2K that I was really excited about and got really good responses. I'm especially excited for the NBA season to start back up because those were some of the most fun videos I did, especially like during the playoffs where I think I did the Dylan Brooks video and stuff like that. Those videos were really fun because I could take what was going on in the NBA in real life and put it into my league, you know, put my own spin on it. And that type of stuff was really cool to me. Or like when the Lakers were 2-10 and 10 and I did a rebuild of them, that was really fun. Those type of rebuild videos, a team is struggling. Let me, let me go ahead 
no, that reminds me. My first video was rebuilding the Warriors. I traded everybody, right? That that just reminded me a little a little light bulb popped up in my head. But yeah, man. I, I really enjoy doing those videos based off what's going on in the NBA in real life. I enjoy doing these what if videos. Really overall just making this my league content was a perfect fit for me as I try to make these 2K videos and grow my channel. Maybe I'm just rambling and chatting and stuff like that and some people don't really care, but I wanted to have this video as kind of a reference point for when NBA 2K24 is eventually coming to an end. I want to see where I was at in NBA 2K23 and maybe some of y'all care, maybe some of you don't, that, that's okay too, but if you're still watching, I might advise you to go find a new video if you don't care, you might, you might have a better way to spend your time, just stop listening to me ramble on. But yeah, man, I'm super excited for 2K24 to drop. Of course, in my league, we have the LeBron era and 2011 is such a cool year to start off an era in. I had always wished that there was a little bit of a later era in 2K. I mean, obviously we have the modern era, which is like, you know, the modern day, but besides that, 2003 was the earliest era we had. And I feel like a lot of cool stuff in the NBA storyline or whatever has happened since then. So the fact that they're adding a LeBron era that starts in 2011 is going to be really cool. And I think I can have a lot of really fun videos that come out of that. Also, I'm excited to do some more 82 and 0 challenges in NBA 2K24. I really want to conquer that 82 and 0 challenge in this upcoming year. I think the best I did in 2K this year was 80 and 2. So hopefully, I will be able to do even better than that. Maybe there's some new cheese in the trade find or something that I can figure out that will allow me to go 82 and 0. But I'm not about to say it's going to be easy. It'll definitely be tough. But hopefully, I can somehow pull it off but essentially to sum everything up that i've talked about in this video i've got a lot of ideas that i'm excited to do in nba 2k24 and of course i'm open to any video ideas that you all would like to suggest in the comment section down below some of you all have gave me some great video ideas that i've recorded and people have really liked them so if you have anything you want to see me do be sure to drop it in the comments section for NBA 2K24. But like I said, got a lot of videos I'm excited about. I'm looking forward to growing this community. Right now, we're sitting around 13,000 subscribers, over 13,200, I believe. So let's see where we're at at the end, end of NBA 2K24. Stay tuned for tomorrow night. I'll have my first 2K24 video out for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, like and subscribe. And man, I can't wait for this game to drop. I probably said that about a million times. But I'll see y'all. This next video you see will be NBA 2K24. Peace.